end of this afternoon full of inspiration, sadness, elation, courage. I'm not going to add and repeat numbers or stress again how important it is. We know how important it is. We've shared how important it is. I would like to propose a call to action. A call to action because with the trends going towards more journalists being killed, more journalists being uh, uh, not insured, we need to do something. Here's my call to action. Media houses, tell the stories. There's an axioma in, in media houses that reporters don't report about the way journalists are suffering from how they are, have to report. But if we want to combat the trend, then we have to start doing this. We need more attention to the stories about what reporters are suffering in order to get the story. And I'll give you an example of that, which is coming from our friend who was just uh, honored, uh, Pakistan. The Pakistan Press Foundation persuaded all the media houses in Pakistan to report together in solidarity about any violation of the rights of journalists. And they did it consistently for weeks and everybody joined. And the result was that the authorities had to answer. The public started to get engaged. Um, action was taken and indeed some journalists were released and the number of killings stopped. I tell to you, we need a call to action. Solidarity works and we need to stand shoulder by shoulder. Second point, we've heard uh, Javier mention the fact that so many people are falling between the cracks. So I'm calling to create, you know, 95%, just imagine, 95% of the journalists uh, who are reporting and are killed are local journalists, uh, a lot of them uninsured, a lot of them not properly covered, not protected, not trained. And I'm calling, although there are many efforts going on, I'm calling for an international trust fund to be created to fix this, this black hole for these local journalists. We need to help those that fall between the cracks. The third thing, and this has to do with impunity, because in the end of the day, no matter how much fire brigades we create, how much training we do, nothing will really stop if we don't get perpetrators of violence against journalists behind bars. So here's my proposal. When journalists are harmed, we often leave it up to them and their colleagues. After a while, when the attention fades away, this, this is what happens. It took Claudia Duque, you just saw it, almost 10 years to keep the case of Javier, um, uh, sorry, um, uh, Garcon, Jaime Garcon, on the agenda in Colombia, and finally su she succeeded. But she did so with great sacrifice for her personal uh, resources and time. And it's that I think we have to understand. We heard also that the family, friends, and colleagues of Stan Storymans are fighting this fight to go to and get, uh, get it to the uh, European court. Um, there are other cases, like the case of uh, the Dutch journalist Sander Tunis. We heard the human rights ambassador speak about it. We know what the battalion of Indonesian journalists, or uh, Indonesian soldiers, who they were, who, who shot Sander Tunis off his motorcycle in East Timor. So what we need, this was, this was left to many people in Vrij Nederland, the newspaper, um, uh, one of the current Al Jazeera correspondents, Step Fase, to investigate. So this is what I propose. We need more investigative capacity. We need to train and create international prosecutors, investigative judges, to investigate all these cases that countries refuse to, pr to pursue themselves. We have to create that independent research capacity. Investigate, trial and punish. That is the only way we can break the cycle of impunity. Killing journalists is a war crime. We need international prosecution. My name is Leon Willems and I stand up for journalists and justice. I will do my utmost and our organization will do our utmost with all the partners that, you've saw, so, that you saw here today to put these ideas into action in the coming years. And we will report back to you. But I invite you today 
to join me in thinking about what your contribution can be. And you're being handed cards as you're leaving this uh, hall now. You as a public, after listening for two hours, can I ask you for your contribution to write down your commitment on the cards that are just going to be handed out as I speak and make your vow. I thank you all for taking the time to be here and think about these issues with us. And I invite you for a drink uh, uh, and thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you.